Now, we're very excited to be focusing on cuisine from across the country of Taiwan this week. And joining Mark in the Beko kitchen today to make a dish from the Tainan region is Jeff Wu. A very good morning. So, what are we making this morning? Hi. Hi. Well, we've got a treat for you today. Look at that. We've got a whole snapper. So this is straight out of the water. I've been fishing this morning to catch this. Oh, yeah, And we've got sure. traditional... And it no, was I'd... this big. <laughs> yes. It is if you hold it really close. <laughs> and uh, so this is a very traditional dish, isn't it? Yes. Um, so basically a whole snapper. We're going to uh, deep fry it in the wok. Um, whole, so it's nice and crispy. When we've got some sautéed vegetables, and we're going to make a sauce around the vegetables yeah. and serve it all on top. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And as an added bonus, we're going to do some nice carvings as well to garnish it with, aren't we? I'm well, so excited. <laughs> Jeff's yeah, going to do we that. We say we, we really mean Jeff. <laughs> and we're so excited this week because it is Taiwanese food week and boy are we in for an absolute treat not only today but this week and we do want to welcome Paul and Jeff as well as Mark in the kitchen and what are we doing today? Right we're going to do a whole snapper look at that it's beautiful fish uh, and then we're going to deep fry it we're going to make a nice crispy coat and deep fry it and then we've got this beautiful sauce with vegetables through it after it's just going to be Beautiful. So you had me hooked as soon as you said deep fried. So what do we need to do first? <laughs> yeah. All right. So Jeff's going to prepare the fish. Yes. And then I've got a little. Uh, I've got a little coat in. So I've got some potato starch in here, and then just some normal flour. So what's? Why the two different sort of powders there? What well, is this? Is going to help make it crispy. So it's not. Right. So the potato starch is going to make it nice and light. Mm. And you can see Jeff. Jeff just. Um, you know, scoring into it, yep. and that's going to help the, uh, the fish uh, cook nice and evenly and get nice and crispy as well. Jeff, is this a traditional Taiwanese dish? Yes. yes. And one of your favourites? Yeah, and the uh, sour and the sweet. So it's that combination of yes. flavours. Yeah. Is this because it's the Tainan region that this this is from, right? Yeah. 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 And is it this, so? This is a typical dish from that region. Yes. yes. Oh, wonderful stuff. Now we're putting the, the fish in the powder here, getting ready for it to fry. Yeah. So you're just going to make sure you get a good coat in now. Yep. So you can see is any part of the fish which, uh, you know, ideally use a bigger bowl, but if you haven't mm -hmm. got a bigger bowl, you can just do it like this method here. Yeah. And you're getting a little bit of that flour into the yeah, grooves yeah, as well. Yeah. And that's going to create a nice crispy batter. It's almost going to be like fish and chips. I love that. <laughs> well, I love that this week we're getting to try and, and see and smell a whole lot of different things. Would we always use snapper, Jeff, or, or can we use different fish? Yes, you can. You can. Yeah. So is there a particular type? Like we're looking for a, a, something that, that holds together nicely or you, mm -hmm. you pretty much whatever takes your fancy? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So yep. oh, we'll step back. Yeah, <laughs> be careful. Are you nervous, Mark, with two experienced <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like being the sea chef again. So this is obviously really, we've got some really hot oil going on here, which is very exciting because yeah. anything deep fried goes well with me. Yeah, so you just got to be careful. I mean, ideally, if you've got a really uh, big fry at home, it's, it's perfect to do it mm. in that. Um, if not, you know, a nice big wok or a nice big pan, you know, depending on the size of your fish, you know, whatever you catch. If you catch like a monster, which I was catching, I had to throw back because it wouldn't fit in the pan. So how long will this take? Um, you probably want to, you know, nice hot oil, probably about five, six minutes on both sides. You know, get it nice and crispy, nice and golden, and, and make sure it's crispy before you turn it, because if it's soft, you know, you're going to run the risk of pulling that skin off. Mm. So nice and crispy, turn it over, cook it on the same side, the other side as well. But it will be quite fast because of these uh, nice scores right. in here. Jeff, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Yep. Jeff, you've done this incredible swan that we can see over here. Yes. Uh, what are you making now? Yeah, and um, the wood. And the we got the swan. <laughs> swan, yeah. Making another swan, fantastic. Yeah. And is that typical of, of Taiwanese cooking that you will often do quite elaborate sculptures and things like that? Yes, it yeah. is. Um, it's quite common for um, Chinese cuisine to have a little bit of um, garnishing on the side with um, fruit and vegetable carving. Yeah. Hmm. What are the most, some of the most kind of elaborate things that you've seen? From a range of flower to animals, swans, um, anything from carrot, butterflies, um, wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite common. Some fantastic things. <laughs> Mark, Can you, you might could do that? <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I'm challenging <laughs> you to see whether you could. We're being transported to Taiwan and the region of Tainan thanks to Jeff 
uh, Chef Jeff, and we've got Paul and Mark here as well. Mark's feeling a little threatened because there are two <laughs> experienced chefs in the ki kitchen. Have a look at this snapper. This is incredible. We had this deep frying, and Jeff, we've got your wonderful sculptures here with the swan, yeah. and I love what you've done with that. Is it mandarin skin or orange? Orange. Orange. Yeah. Fantastic. Jeff, out of curiosity, how long have you been cooking? And cooking 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Uh, it shows. We'll, we'll get Mark there at some point, up to your level <laughs> of experience. <laughs> hey, now, what can you tell me about Tainan? Um, Tainan used to be the capital um, city for Taiwan in the 19th centuries, and it's um, very close to the harbour side, so it's very well known for the seafood dishes. Mm. Um, which um, around the area. And so if we were to, to go there on a holiday, we, we would probably see food like Absolutely. we've got here, this gorgeous food here in front of us. Um, now what's going on here? There's a bit of stir frying going on, Mark. Right, so we're, we're making the sauce basically now. Well, we've got lots of vegetables to go in the sauce, so we've started with some garlic, so we're sweating that off, you know, getting a little bit of colour on that garlic to bring out the flavour. Mm. Spring onions in there, onions in there. I've got some shiitakes which have just been nicely, finely um, sliced. And look at these in there. knife skills from Jeff. Just look at how Looks fine good, that carrot is. Yeah. Can you cut nice a bit of fine, fine Mark? Yes, yeah, okay. I'll show you one day. I'll teach you one day. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, I'm just looking behind me. Uh, is it, uh, if I get this right, Jabba, Jabba Moi? Boy. Jabba Moi. Jabba Moi. And what, what does that mean? Uh, means it's have you hot. eaten? Have you eaten? Yes. Chances are I haven't, and I'm very much <laughs> looking forward to trying this. Um, because it is Taiwanese food week here in the cafe, and we're so excited to be trying all these flavours. So we've still got the stir frying going on here to go along with our fish, which is, he's just chilling there, just waiting for me to come along with knife and fork and devour it. Okay. What have we, what's and that's going in here So now? we've got some, uh, so the shiitake's went in, the carrots, so they're really finely sliced. So, you know, this is really fast, it doesn't take long to do. Capsicum's gone in there, a green one and a yellow one to get different textures, different sweet sweetnesses. Mm. And, you know, now we're ready to build the sauce. So we've got a little bit of chicken yeah. stock in there now. Great. Right. So that goes in. Oh, listen to that. Yeah. yeah. So, Paul, in Tainan, what are we likely to see if, we're, you know, if we were going there on a, on a trip, a bit of a holiday to experience the culture, mm. what, what sort of things are we likely to see? Um, in Taiwan, there's a lot of street food. Yeah. Um, so you will get to see a lot of street food all around Taiwan. But, um, and especially for Tainan, um, this would be one of the common dishes that you'll get to see around. Not in the street food, but this one is more of a um, restaurant for banquet um, style kind of food. Right. And in terms of, you know, I'm guessing lots of temples and, and very rich culture and history as well. Yes, that's correct. Fantastic. Okay, so this is bubbling away quite nicely here. Right, so we had the stock in there. And then we've got soy sauce in there, some white pepper, and the yeah, Chinese black vinegar mm. as well, so you get that whole sort of uh, caramelised sort of sweet oh, and I sour. And that. mm. uh, that's what we're building up now. That's How do we coming finish to the this bottle. one off? Yeah. And a little bit of corn flour, just let down with some um, water. Yes. And then just a little bit by little bit over that high heat, and that will just thicken the sauce slightly. I love that you're doing it gradually because me, I tend to throw stuff in, <laughs> yeah. and suddenly I've got a solid block okay. of stir fry. So you can see it's just thickening now, it's nice yeah. and glossy. Just hold it and we've got some fresh coriander. Ooh, okay. So it's just going to get chopped. Nice uh, a little bit of uh, the rice wine. Great. Goes in there. Cannot wait to try that. Now the dish is on our website, you can check that out. And if you want to enjoy Taiwan, you can find more information how to get there and what's on offer at eng.taiwan.net.tw. So excited to be trying this Taiwanese cuisine. We've had Chef Jeff Wu here, Paul as well. It looks amazing. How's it turned out, Mark? Look at that. It speaks for itself. It looks fantastic. Can't Absolutely. Wait hey, what's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I'm Josh, uh, joined by Chef Josh and we're making Ga Bao.